Are you as excited as Daddy is about the thousand subscribers? Yes. Come here. Yes. Yep. You're very excited. That's my girl, Princess. Just to let everybody know. She's my number one. Right? Aren't you daddy's number one fan? Yep, see? See? Alright, I just got done washing my son's pickup. He did it in the driveway. He must have a hot date tonight. It's, it's, uh, what is today? Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. Same day that one lonely farmer. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. So, like I said, this thing right here, the plan is hopefully tomorrow, pick the parts up, get her put back together because we have a lot of ground that we got to catch up on that I've already spread manure on for the early corn. So she's got to, she's got to get rolling. I don't like manure on top. I want it worked in. I think it does better. So I want to get it worked in. I'm going to put the impact and everything up. I left it out yesterday because I thought they had the parts, but they didn't. So the barons came in today, but the I'll show you what I'm talking about. We didn't put the uh, we actually stopped putting these bolts inside of the nuts. My brother's been doing a little tack weld because the bolts it takes longer to get these little quarter inch bolts out than it actually does. Hold on, I need to shut this door. Come on, damn it. It takes longer to get these quarter inch bolts out of these things. Right here. Can you see that? These are right here. It takes longer to get them out than it does to do the whole bearing change. Them things are a nightmare, but that's what they put in them. And even the new ones we checked, even the new ones they put them in. Now see, here's one that we did that we didn't put it back in. And she's held up just fine right here. Um, because we didn't want to have to keep, I mean, I swear to you, and sometimes it takes an hour to get that bolt out. We heat it, take a pot, you can't do it. It's just, you get lucky when you get them out. They're a pain in the butt. So here's what happens when you don't do it though, right here. We didn't weld this one and the nut came off so the nut and the blade so we're kind of screwed because we got to put the yeah she's got a blade that's supposed to be on it we got to put the i don't know what they call it like a cone and then the blade and then the the there's like a big uh where's it at this thing right here there's like a big, uh, I don't know, cast iron washer that goes on it. And we have to put that and then the nut back on. And we actually need to put the bolt back through it because it kind of kind of didn't do it. And it, everything came apart. So kind of got us there. So um, that's what we're waiting on right now. So... But that is a tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow project. Everything will be in. And the problem, you know, I'm always down in that Great Plains. That thing works great. I mean, really great. But the problem is, is the old barons, the two-piece barons that were on her. That was the main thing that we've, that's the only issue we've actually had with this thing, is them barons. And ever since we put the new style barons on her, we actually haven't had a single problem with her. So we're thinking that once we get the new bearings, the one piece seal bearings on her, everything will be okay. So like the, the machine, just hate the way they had the old bearings. Um, you know, of course the new ones come through with the sealed bearings. So, but you know, what we paid for that thing versus what a new one costs is just totally different. You know, we didn't hardly give anything for that compared to 
I don't know, eighty, hundred thousand dollars for a thirty-foot turbo max. You know, they might even be more than that now with the prices of everything. So, you know, she does a really good job the way she is. Yes, it would be nice to have the turbo max where you can, you know, turn the gangs a little bit, but she actually does a really good job. So, you know, I'm not going to spend a hundred thousand dollars on a, you know, a turbo till. I mean, that's that's a lot of money. So, does a great job, but. I'd rather have a big field cultivator with the baskets and the drag in front of the planter than the turbo till. Turbo till is just meant for tearing up residue. Um, we use her for pretty much everything now. Um, the disc tears too much up. Now, if our disc had baskets on the back, it would be a game, you know, night and day, we would use it. But her, I don't really want to tear the fields up because once you get in there and disc, you got to disc it two or three times, get it perfect, smooth, level, and everything else. That thing right there, one pass does the trick. I mean, just one pass, and it's crazy um, how good it does. So, but if I was going to have disc to ground, I'd rather have a field cultivator, a big one, going through and um, getting the fields level and ready, you know, the seed bid. So, but, you know, everything costs money in the world. Now, you can't buy nothing, even if it's used, because they want double the price for it because there's such a short inventory for everything so but as you can see behind me i got both my girls back there one's my brother's one's mine so they've been ready to go i was spreading with mine earlier and uh that's how i was watching one lonely farmer right and then i was missing stuff because i had to keep getting off and loading so but got the other one fixed she's ready to go so as soon as my brother gets done hauling straw next week, he sh we should be done next week. Um, we'll have both of them running. So, other than that, ain't much going on. So, it's Wednesday. I'll see you all tomorrow. I pop on the excavator. He's, <clears throat> this is Mr. Johnny's farm. He's done did all that, cleared the woods. The edge, just so the trees don't hang over. All the way back. Can we call it a day? I'm gonna bring his pickup over to him. And then you got Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben right there. You've seen Ben in his other videos. He's got his wife pregnant, Miss Rachel. Two more months. All right, good morning. I, uh, it's 4.30 in the morning. I get up every morning at three o'clock. Uh, we have a Siamese cat that you saw, Princess, and she, ever since she was a baby, um, a kitten, we used to have Labs, and, uh, you know, they passed on, vowed I'd never get another animal. Of course, Miss Eastern Shore Farmer wanted this thing right here as a kitten so say hi to everybody so we got her i raised her from a kitten just like she was a dog she plays fetch if you call her name whistle to her she comes running to you doesn't matter where you're at um if you go on tiktok you can watch all these videos of her playing fetch i mean just like a dog throw it brings it back throws it brings it back she's relentless she walks around the house with a ball in her mouth um Wakes me up every morning at 3 o'clock because I used to get up early anyway. And I guess where she was a kitten and she was kind of on my schedule. Now that she is an older cat, she remembers 3 o'clock. If it's, I don't care when it hits 3 o'clock, bam, she's right there on me. And she will worry you to death until you get out of bed. So that's the, every morning. I mean, it doesn't matter what day it is. Every morning she's there at 3 o'clock. So we get up. Um, you can watch videos over too on TikTok, or I think I even posted videos on YouTube of her. She rides in the tractor, does everything. So just like a dog, she wants to ride and loves everything about everything. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. And I know it couldn't have been without Wes. Um, 
you know, on his video. And Wes, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, it is a big deal to me. And I'm going to get, I do everything on a cell phone. I do want to get a regular camera to video like everybody else does. I was going to go with the GoPro, but every time I hear, everybody complains about GoPro. And I don't want to spend $500 on a GoPro. And something, you know, it doesn't work half time. Or the battery, you know, just, it's always something. So if anybody has any recommendations, and I, the only thing I do like about a GoPro is the small camera size. You know, it's not big and bulky. So if anybody has recommendations of cameras that I could buy, you know, to use, that's what I need right now. So I just don't want a huge, big, heavy camera to have to try to carry everywhere. So that's what's convenient about the cell phone. I have my cell phone with me all the time anyway, so why not just video with it? Um, I don't know how the quality is or whatever of it and everything, but I'd like to do more action shots with, you know, putting it on a magnet, putting it at the back of the planner or the disc, so you, you know, show you what's going on as we're doing stuff. So. And there's a lot of shots that I don't take fixing stuff because I need both of my hands and I can't hold the cell phone. So that's why, you know, if I say I'm working on something and then the next clip you see it's fixed. You don't actually see the the working on stage because, you know, cell phone so flat is trying to, I'm trying to set it up so you do it, but it always falls over. Or you don't, you get your hands greasy. You don't want to touch your phone. Um, if anybody has recommendations of a camera, let me know. Um, we farm in Snow, Maryland. Um, we just do corn, wheat, soybeans. Um, right now I want to say I'm a third generation farmer, but I'm sure I'm like a fifth or a sixth because honestly, I've never asked my dad about his grandfather or his grandfather's father. And my grandfather died. My dad's dad died when I was younger before I, you know, asked questions or wanted to know history, I guess, or you know, just young and, you know, not caring about things, I guess, like I do now, wanting to know everything and, you know, but it's too late to ask him now because he's gone. And I really need to sit down with my dad one day because I'm, I'm 44 and in my 44 years, I've never heard my dad talk about his grandfather. Not one time has my dad ever mentioned his grandfather or he's never really We've had little conversations about what him and his, him and his, my dad and his dad, they farmed up in Delaware, like I think Little Creek, Dover area, somewhere around there. And they farmed a mess of acres for around here. I think they were over 5,000 acres, but something my dad didn't like the way his dad farmed. So he moved to Maryland and bought this farm and started on his own and, you know, built it up to what it is today. And me and my brother have carried it you know, to where it is now, and we're, hopefully we can keep continuing that. Um, long as the price of fertilizer and land don't break us, so, but let's just hope not. But, anyway, just wanted to throw it out there to the new subscribers. This is who we are. We, you know, love farming. Like, I love making videos. I want to keep growing and expanding our acreage. Of course, it's hard around here. There's so many farmers and so little land. But, uh, do my best to keep expanding. I'm going to keep making videos, so hopefully I can get better at it and start getting some other cameras and showing you other stuff um, that we do. Um, I would like to know the history of our farm and my dad's farm, my grandfather, and then his father. That's who I really want to know is what my grandfather's father and everybody did. So we might make a video on that one day just to see the history of everything because, you know, don't wait. You know, like I say, I'm 44 now, and... I've waited too long to find that stuff out because everybody's dead now other than my dad. And, you know, I don't have anybody to ask. So if you got ways to find out and history and stuff like that, you know, I tell my son every time, you know, if you ever have a question, ask if you want to know something about something, you know, no question's a dumb question. Um, just always ask and figure it out. If you want to know something about history, you know, I, you know, like he's young too, so he doesn't think about it. He'll do it later in life you know, but it might be too late to where you can't ask anybody. But I always get curious about stuff like that. So just wanted to tell you all about everything that goes on. I'm getting ready to go out, leave my brother with straw and uh, take Miss Jamie to school. And 
I guess go up to the farm. It is windy. It's warm out today, but it is windy. So I don't think I'll be able to spread or spray. I wanted to catch up on the spraying of weed. I really want to get that done so I can switch the sprayer over and do some burn down. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that today. Um, what's tomorrow? The first Friday? First. Got to start hauling our April corn contracts tomorrow. Even though it's Friday and they're going to be closed weekend. But at least we can get a couple loads in there and start knocking out. So I think my brother's going to do that. And hopefully I can spray Friday. I, it doesn't matter if he gets two loads in there during the day. As long as we, I think we got 10 loads left that we got to haul. Just as long as he can just start knocking it out. Because um, everybody knows that Tyson is now slow. So you just get as many as you can in there and that's it. So anyway, um, thank you, Wes. Thanks for the subscribers. Everybody that's subscribed, um, just put the word out so I can get more. I'm happy with a thousand. I, you know, that was my goal to get a thousand. Let's hope that the next thousand is easier and doesn't take as long. So, anyway, uh, happy Thursday, and I'll see everybody later. Oh, like, subscribe, and share. I gotta say it. See you.